it's important to recognize that whether you're 16 or 65, your body needs to make nearly 300 grams of new protein per day. So there's a protein turnover. Every tissue in the body is turning over. Uh, some as fast as liver enzymes where you replace every hour. Muscle proteins where you replace with half-lives of around 15 to 16 days. So every 30 days. Collagen turns over at about half-life of 100 days, which is why if you hurt your knee, it takes so long to repair it. The body replaces literally every protein in it about four times a year. Uh, and then if you think of we have to make 300 grams of new protein per day, the average American intake is around 80 grams or less, women 70, men 90. Um, that means that there's a recycling thing going on. So of every new protein that's getting made in the body, about six out of seven amino acids are getting recycled. What we now know is that as you get older, the efficiency of that protein turnover goes down. So where a 16-year-old, uh, you give them a certain amount of protein, they'll have a very good response. A 65-year-old will have maybe no response at all or you know 10% or something. But what we have learned, sort of with the study of leucine and initiation factors and all of that, is that if you give an enriched source of essential amino acids, uh, you can actually make the adult look just like the 16-year-old. So what we know is that the efficiency goes down, but the capacity to respond doesn't. What we now know is that if you have a requirement that's about twice the minimum RDA, so instead of 0.8, it's 1.6 grams per kg, uh, we can get the adult, the 65-year-old, to respond just the same as the 20-year-old as far as muscle protein synthesis. Most people who go to a plant-based diet, a vegetarian diet, decrease both the quantity and the quality. If you're on a plant-based diet, you'll need more protein, and that means you'll have to have more calories. Um, but what's the threshold for that? What we would probably argue is that if you have 100, 120 grams of protein per day, it probably doesn't matter the distribution between animal and plant because you probably have enough to cover it. If you're only eating 50 grams of protein per day, then it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. You'll never catch up to your essential amino acid needs. So somewhere between 50 and 120, it depends on what you choose. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.